hey guys welcome back to java essential.com and today we're going to look about the what are the top 20 java interview questions which are very frequently asked in the interview you will not found any java interview without this question at least you will get one or two questions and these are the tricky question apart from the basics question okay and if you got this question in your interview and you if you will be able to answer it properly then the probability of getting selected in that technical round is very high for you okay so watch it till last and at the end i'll let you know one place where you will get the solution or you can say the answer of all this question at one place okay guys so let's start so our first question is here is what are the different way of creating wrapper class instances okay and the second one is how does the garbage collection prevent a java application from going out of memory means how that map actually the interview is uh, going to asking the question related to the memory management so he is definitely he will be looking for whether you know the, how the memory management is takes place in the java or not okay and our third question is what are the checked and unchecked exception and when we have to actually the, you, most of the guys are knowing that uh, what are the checked and unchecked exceptions but when do you use them that is the tricky questions our fourth question is what are the difference between the equals method and the double equals so actually i have already covered this uh, answer in one of my the string coding interview question uh, in between i have covered this question so you can go through i think that is the one of the string coding interview question it has been it is already covered and at the end i have also put it that uh, regarding the double equal to one tricky question i have put it there and at the end at the last slide so you can watch it there And the next one is our fifth question. What is the difference between the FREC classes and the interfaces? Okay. The question number six is can you override a private or a static method in Java? Question number seven is what are the difference between the JDK versus the JVM and the JRE? This looks like a very simple easy question, but if you elaborate your answer and if you explain it very well, then it will be good for you that what how the jdk how the jvm how the jres are working okay so the next question question number eight is what is the type casting and definitely the next question after that if you are able to answer that that what is the type casting then you will definitely get the next next question is what is the implicit type casting what is the ex explicit type casting the question number nine is uh, are all string are immutable or you can also get some question like what is the mutability or what is why strings are mutable why strings are not mutable this kind of question you will get regarding the mutability okay the next one question number 10 is what is the difference between the final finalize and the finally keyword okay so this looks like a similar kind of thing the what is the final what is the finalize and what is finally and when we are going to use them the next one is what is the difference between the string string buffer and the string builder the same just like the previous question final finalize final finally and the same way the string string buffer and string builder okay so you should know what is the difference between them the next one question number 12 is the can an enum be extended how thread safe is enum in java okay and the next one question number 13 is what is the difference between the has map and the concurrent has map you have to know you, you should have basic idea about the has map the next one is the what is the difference between the class not found exception and no class def found ex error the question number 15 is what is the contract between equals and has code of an object okay the next one the question number 16 is when do you need to write the equals and the has code method in java when you have to override when you needed to override this this should be in your knowledge 
uh, most of people are really confused between when we should over overwrite this equals method so you should have basic idea about it the question number 17 is why are why you are not allowed to extend more than one class in java but you are allowed to implement multiple interfaces okay so it's all about the definition because the interface does is interface doesn't contain the definition okay so you you should have basic idea about it okay you should know about it the question number 18 is what is the difference between the iterator and the list iterator and the next one question number 19 is the what are the difference between the heap and the stack memory so again one question from the memory the memory management of how memory takes place this should be what means the, there can be a question in that your interview so our last question the question number 20 is write a java program to prevent a deadlock in java actually this is a uh, coding question but i put at this here because uh, through this question you will be able to know what is how deadlock occurs how you can prevent deadlock so all this kind of uh, stuff will be there so if you are able to write a prevent a deadlock then you will be definitely knowing the why how deadlock occurs actually the interviewer how interview lost he can ask you to write a code where the deadlock occur then if you are able to write that code then he'll ask you how you can prevent the deadlock in this code so this can be a tricky kind of uh, means definitely there is a one or more way to ask this question so at the, at the end as i said that i am going to give you one code where the double equals method has been used and the output of these two is not same and you are going to answer it here and down into the comment section what will be the output of this code okay and if, if you have any doubt just write you know, just to mention it in the comment section i'll definitely answer i'll help you why these two lines are look similar but why here is a different output for these two lines okay so here is that's it that was our 20 coding inter uh, 20 java interview questions and I have already covered that uh, string related string coding inter questions in the earlier video. So you can watch that also. That will be really helpful for you guys. Okay guys. So that's it from my side. And at the end I would like, I would like to ask you one thing my friend. The only way to know whether my videos are helpful for you guys or not is how many likes will I get into a particular video so please like our videos and let me know that and let me know if you, these videos are useful for you or not so please hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel to get the private videos only few videos are only meant for the subscribers so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and for you guys that all these answer that the 20 questions i have put it here i have created a, i have uh, prepared a short note or you can say the short answer for this question so if you want this answer into the pdf format comment your mail id down into the comment section and i'll send that pdf to you thank you guys thank you for watching our videos and keep watching our videos bye bye take care have a nice day